Okay, guys, so you are going to have an assignment for um, the history of floral design. In class, everyone is cutting out little flowers, so they're going to make an arrangement that looks like this. Well, you're not here, so we have to do something in place of that. So you are going to make your own arrangement, but it's going to be virtually. So how you're going to do this is with Google Draw. I will send this assignment to you with Google Draw attached to it. But for you to be able to make the arrangement, I need to show you how to do it. So here's what's gonna happen. You will have a blank sheet like this. This is Google Draw. How you're going to do this is you're going to select a container. Now, the assignment is for you to recreate a historically correct arrangement. So you're going to pick something from the Japanese influence, the European influence, or the American influence. And then you are going to create your arrangement. Kind of like this right here is a cubed vase, and that would be from the Victorian time period. So that would be the American influence. So, or it's the European, I'm sorry, I may, I'm wrong. Anyways, so you're going to do pick a container. So how you pick a container, is you're going to search from the web and you're going to pick vase with a transparent oh I spelled it background all right so all these vases will show up some will look kind of like historically some will have a little bit of a background some will not have a background at all I would prefer one that doesn't have a background at all. So for example, let's get a vase like this. Hopefully this one doesn't have a background. Just thinking about it, Just thinking about it. Oh, dang, this one has the vase. But fortunately, Why did it do that? Oh well, go back. We'll use this one right here, insert, because it wanted to be on the page in the first place. So you see how this doesn't have anything at all. So we're gonna shrink it down. We're gonna say that this is probably, we'll do uh, Williamsburg because they use small containers that they had in their house, and this looks like something like a mason jar or something like that. So I have my container. Now I'm going to search the web and I'm going to find flowers that have a transparent background as well. So here I have all these flowers that I can choose from. I would prefer the realistic ones. I really like this ranunculus, so we're gonna use it. So I have this ranunculus and I wanna make it look like it's coming out of the vase, okay? Now, I think I can push this one backwards, yes, and I can still see it. Okay, I can still see that flower stem, so it looks like it's coming out of the vase, which is kinda of neat. So now, not, you need at least four different types of flowers, but it doesn't mean you're limited to how many of each of those flowers. So say I wanna add this one, but I want it to be facing a different way. So I'm going to rotate it horizontally and I'm going to place it in the vase. Then what if I want another one? So place that one. I may want this one a little bit facing this way. And I want this one to go to the back. Okay, so now I have three ranunculuses in this vase. I need to add more, so I'm gonna search the web and I'm going to insert other flowers. So let's see, let's find something else. To use a lily, insert it. So I want this one. Oh, that one has a white background. We don't want that. We want it has a transparent. So 
is this daisy inserted. So as you can see, we're creating an arrangement historically from history. So I have three ranunculuses in here. I could add more daisies. I could make it bigger. I could do all kinds of cute things. And this is how you're going to complete this assignment and get it turned into me. Okay, that's if you're in principles of floral design. Now, pause. I have some advanced floral design students. I'm gonna give them some instruction. So I'm done with principles and elements of design and you can click off and begin your assignment. So my advanced student, we in the past have done an arrangement for um, Dia de los Muertos and we had a, um, a sugar skull container and you were not able to participate in it. But the great thing is, is that you can do it digitally. So here's how you are going to do this assignment. You're gonna search the web and you're going to look for a sugar skull. Um, and pick, you can pick a fun one, you can pick a cute one, like this one's kind of cute. Does it have a clear background? Yes, it does. All right. So now this is gonna be your container and you're going to put flowers in it. Um, I will give you a list in the instructions of flowers that you need to find. Um, so like one of the flowers, and you may have to look them up because you may not know them. One of the flowers is a stock flower. And it is a tall fuzzy flower like this. And you actually did have two of them in the arrangement. So this picture works out perfectly. And you are going to create your arrangement using this. So sending it to the back and you're going to make your arrangement. And that's how you will do yours. So those are how to use Google Drawing to create flower arrangements. Um, I see that we will be using this much more in the future. I think it's a great tool. So please be on the lookout for that. Um, if you have any questions, just email me and I will help you the best that I can. Um, thank you and have a great day.